Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm wearing a high pony, like who am I? I haven't worn a high pony in so long. I really wanted to do a bun, but I'm like, this looks cute, a little fountain. I was watching Keeping Up With The Kardashians because I just love watching their glam. I just love it. They make up the hair, everything. And I saw Chloe put this, you know, the red latex top she was wearing with like a bun. I love that. But obviously, um, I don't have time for all of that hairspray stuff. <laughs> But this is cute. I wanted to do this vlog style video where I talk to you about the stuff that Abigail loves. So Abigail is my daughter for all of you new watching. She is two and a half months old and I took some time to do this video because I really wanted to know what I'm loving in the baby world, the baby space now. Uh, just like I recommend makeup to you guys, I wanted to do a sit down and talk to you about the things that I'm personally loving. So of course every baby is different, you know, different brands suit different mums and babies. So this is a video about things that I really have been loving over the past two and a half months. Um, there's a lot of trial and error that happened. I'm also a first time mom. It's super new for me to understand baby products and what they're loving at the moment. So it was a lot of hit and miss with Abby as well. I purchased a lot of bottles, a lot of bottles failed, diapers. It's just the whole thing. So I wanted to do like a pro and con thing on what I've been loving what I did not love etc so it's just a super chilled out video so I'm gonna talk a little bit about baby bottles diapers and just a few outfits that I've been purchasing for Abby things that she's been liking and stuff that's suiting her okay so make sure that you try these on your baby and see whether they like it or not because every baby is different so I'm definitely gonna begin with some bottles I have a few bottles lying down here Abby is two and a half months like I said and she is breastfeeding okay ever since she was born she was on the boob I am exclusively breastfeeding her. There are times where we did give her a top feed. That's when I initially when I didn't get my milk come in or when I had to go to the hospital for my second operation, mini operation. I had to go for half the day. So that's when my mom sort of like top fed her because I didn't have any milk supply left. And then ever since that, I've been pumping and keeping and she's been feeding from the bottle in the nights. You know, initially when she was a month, she used to feed in the night with a bottle, like a full 60 ml. And then I used to breastfeed her throughout the entire day. And it used to definitely exhaust me. All the breastfeeding moms know that it is exhausting breastfeeding your baby. Though it's a very loving bonding experience, your body absolutely gives up at the end of the day because it's just like a lot. You know, all your nutrients go go away and it's just a lot of energy. Abby has been solely on breastfed milk. That's just a little bit of an update I wanted to give you guys. I absolutely like top feed as well. Top feed saves lives. I keep telling you guys not everybody can breastfeed. Not everybody has a smooth breastfeeding journey. It's very difficult for mom's breastfeed for the milk output to come right. Uh, one boob is always more than the other. It's just difficult for every mother. It's not always natural. It's not like a very natural thing to automatically breastfeed your child. It is extremely difficult it's a skill that you have to learn how to, how to have the baby latch on and etc etc so it's a lot I really thought this outfit was missing a chain so I put a chain on anyway uh, if you give your baby formula that's an amazing thing as long as your baby is well fed you're doing your job mama okay there are a lot of times where I was guilty where I could not produce enough milk because I was super stressed I was in physical pain and there was just no milk coming out so Abigail had to be fed with formula you know I did feel a little guilty that why is my milk not coming out but over time I realized that Abigail just needs to be fed so your baby just needs to be fed and your job is done okay so all of us 90s kids were put on like formula post four months post six months and we're completely fine okay I don't know why there's this taboo against formula milk is bad of course breast milk is amazing there's a lot of nutrients etc but like I said not every mom can breastfeed their child and it's a very complicated journey um, so yeah just remember that top feed is great so is breast milk she's on exclusively breast milk now earlier she used to take the bottle um, and I'm going to show you the kind of bottle she was gravitating towards So I'm going to show you a bunch of bottles that Abby has been liking and the bottles that I have at the moment. The first one we got was the Dr. Brown's. This is the most famous and well-known bottle that every mom recommends that I use. But So I got this from the US. It's a very big one, but this is the nipple. It just, it resembles a boob, but not so much. I mean, you know what? I'm a little like, I don't really know what nipple suits the child because like every mom's nipple is a different shape. So every brand ties, tries to make the best, but they obviously are having a tough time replicating a mom's nipple but she took to this really well in the first month of her birth like first few days um, so this is a good one then I had a couple of these
these, the Lansino bottles. So I have one in the small size and one in the bigger size. It's a very different nipple shape, but she took to it really well. I think she was too tiny, didn't get to know the difference. I don't know. But this was also a bottle that was recommended a lot and it's pretty good. And then Abby stopped taking the bottle. She absolutely downright refused taking a bottle. And uh, we were like concerned. We're like, is it the nipple? Is the outflow too much? Is it not too much? So confusing for a first time mom. So I was like, you know what? Let me just order this other bottle. A lot of moms recommended the Philips event bottle and I just saw it everywhere and I was just like oh my god I'm just gonna get this bottle and see what the hype is and I got it it came in a pack of two so I got two of these and this is yeah the Philips event and it's such a cute little tiny bottle and this actually came very close to representing a boob like this is the areola part and this is the nipple like that so it looked like pretty cool so I was like okay let me try this she took to it very well okay i was like oh my god thank god i found the bottle that so i just took this out of the sterilizer that's why it's got like steam in it but then i called for this one right here which is the mimi bottle again i love the brand mimi i think it's really cool uh they have a bunch of stuff that i like and this is such a chotu bottle as compared to all of these but i got this simply for travel just in case i pump and i want to put it somewhere i just carry this is just so cute it was good i have a glass bottle the larger mimi glass one and the smaller one um, baby forest sent me a pr i kept seeing ads about this as well that it comes closest to the mama's boob that's what all bottles say but you can never replicate a boob okay but this is it it looks like a tit it just it looks like a boob it's even the color is just like a boob so i like this nipple as well and i like the fact that this like can you see these dots they're like tiny dots on this which also which also look like a boob okay so i think it comes closest to the nipple as well and i just like that it's silicone you can just press it in i don't know it's a very very cute bottle it's super cute it's got little tiny feet what is this it's so cute but um she took to this for the first time i gave it to her she's like i'm like yes we got this we got this this is it only once only once she took to this and then she rejected this because she's like you're trying to fool me mom like no she, she's too smart babies are too smart they get it water break So when it comes to pumping, initially I used the Spectra, okay it's the Spectra plus 2. Didn't have a choice so I used it initially but I hated the experience of using the Spectra because you have to sit in one particular position, you have to angle your body a certain way for gravity so the milk goes down, you cannot move a little, if you do then the suction goes out. It's just too much of a hassle. The output is great of the Spectra but that's just it. You have to carry the machine everywhere you go. It's not travel friendly. It's just it was a big hassle for me in the initial months. So I called for the LV pumps. I read online that the LV pumps were very highly rated by mums and it seemed like the best option for me. It is very expensive. In fact the Spectra is also expensive but this is also expensive. It was 45,000 or 50,000 rupees for both of these. You can obviously buy one but it can come in a pair or single as well uh, it's a, it's very expensive but it's so worth it it's so worth it if you can afford it if you can get it you should get the lv pump i got another one which was i i gave it away i think it was four thousand rupees i was waiting for my lvs to reach but in the middle i called for that and it was terrible it was really bad so i had to give it away this is the one i have at the moment this is a pretty good one i just stuffed this down in my bra and it's a very noise cancelling sort of pump it's a very soft suction you cannot hear the pumps the spectra is like ding, 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 ding. everyone knows you're pumping this is like super soft i will make you hear it super quiet and all you gotta do is stuff this in your nursing bra put it on and just walk around the house do your chores do your work go to work now i have milk storing bottles and i have milk freezing bags i never needed my freezing bags because abby just fed directly from the bottle sometimes and you know i didn't have to store so the thing is that i have not put my boobs on to overdrive even oversupply of milk is very painful for mothers because then stopping is difficult and also your boobs start hurting you're very engorged you have to keep pumping so it's just a mess so I made sure from the beginning that I don't put my milk supply into overdrive so I just pumped like a collective of four times in the day so the minute I got engorged and I knew that oh it's time to pump you feel this heaviness I would pump and I would pump only like 10 minutes per boob or 15 minutes at max 
not more than that okay it's demand supply right the more you put your baby on your boob the more milk will come the more you pump the more milk will come so your body knows that it needs milk so it keeps producing milk it's very difficult for breastfeeding moms to breastfeed and pump and breastfeed and pump it's just so difficult to do that so i just didn't do that i made sure i pumped only when i needed to pump and i do it twice in the night so a total of six seven times in the entire day is all i would do so just remember keep your milk output in the middle okay so you want to get about like 60 ml 30 30 ml or 60 ml total 90 ml is at max is, is what you want to get uh, so that you're not into overdrive you're not getting mastitis you're not getting clogged ducts I got clogged ducts twice so far not mastitis luckily so I got like you will sense like a painful clogged milk duct sitting right here and it would be so hard to the touch you will notice that there's something different recent studies show that you have to put a cold compress and not a hot compress okay uh, they've updated the study and they've said put a cold compress and allow your Uh, allow it to soothe i did that it did not work for me so i was like you know what let me go back to the old study which show you have to put a hot compress so what i did is i had this heating bag or you can put a hot towel take a hot shower so i took that amazon ka you know no when you get a period cramps you put that electric stuff on your belly i heated it i placed it on my boob i tapped it around a little bit my clogged ducts were really hurting it was the first time i experienced it i was really nervous you can't even massage it it's so painful so don't try and massage it or press it or express don't do all of that it's very painful place the hot compress here for a bit wait 10 minutes and get your baby to feed on that boob okay so i got abby to feed on that side which was clogged and what i did is i just did this okay just tickle it down trickle it down don't put pressure to the boob and drain it down towards the feed okay that's what i did and abby got all of it out like she just got the milk duct absolutely out and this is a breast milk storage bag from love lab and uh, this has also worked out very well for me i store my milk in this now since abby is not feeding from the bottle a lot of milk is getting collected i'm starting to freeze my stash now so when she's a little older i can make small little smoothies for her with breast milk and give it to her and i'm storing it in these bags they're very easily available on amazon and i'll show you the freezed milk right now i'm going to take you to that yeah i have two vanilla ice creams here but let's not right now we all have a cough but yeah these are my um, stored breast milk i have written the date on it and i've kept it here 15 july and i've stored it here you can just see it's been sitting for like 2 days now you can store these for about 1 year 12 months i'm going to give it to her when she turns 6 or 7 months but this is how i stacked it of course it's taking a lot of place and there's a way to stack milk so this is my 3 am pumping session i wanted to show you guys um sometimes i'm lucky and i get this much milk but not all the time so don't be confused i typically get 60 ml 80 ml that's as max as i can go this is a very lucky night for me to get so much milk but um i store it in these bottles you can see right here they're weirdly very expensive they come in a pack of 3 and they're 3000 rupees for this regular plastic bottle like i don't understand why it's so expensive but it is and yeah i just fill it in here and i put it at the back of the fridge and we keep using this milk this was when she did take the bottle okay now she doesn't take it and that's why i've started freezing my pumped out milk and yeah so this is another thing that i found that was so important <laughs> again it's from love lap and it's so cute it's like this baby powder pink color we just dry all her milk bottles in this which makes it super easy and yeah this is super easy something you can get for your baby if you have a lot of things to dry i also dry my pump bits over here which i will show you and then we have a sterilizer it's again by philips avent and this is the one we used to sterilize all abby's bottles and my breast pump stuff once in a while and it's a pretty good one it takes up a lot of space i must say but um, it does the job i got this as a bridal bridal as a baby shower gift and i've been using this ever since so i'll show it to you guys we've just freshly steamed this nipple and this palada you can see that it's upside down so bottles go down and all of the nipples and everything else come up here I'm in Abby's nursery right now. Isn't that the cutest wallpaper ever? Had nothing like this growing up, but I wanted to just I had this vision of how I wanted Abby's room to be. 
and I definitely wanted like a jungle theme so that's from Mamas and Peaches um, and I think I paid I want to say around 28,000 I think I got it long back when I was pregnant but it's such a beautiful wallpaper and Abby just looks at it all the time when she's placed like that and she just stares at it it's the cutest thing my mom is sleeping here right now in Abby's nursery because she's helping me with Abby um, she's too tiny so I need mama so she's here right now but this is my beautiful background okay so now let's talk diapers okay it's been a roller coaster journey with diapers I'm sure all of you mamas agree with me we tried so many different diapers and every diaper had their own pros and cons we haven't found the perfect diaper yet but I don't think that exists I think all of us will have our preferences first I bought the pant style diaper I think it was from Huggies it I think we used it all up but didn't really enjoy it much I it was too small this is the one i moved to later this is the pampers taped um in the new baby size okay so when she was initially like one month uh we we used this and this was great i called for another one but then halfway through the other pack we realized this tape is just cutting through abby's tummy it just just it just wasn't comfortable my mom and i just kept seeing like red sort of cut lines on her stomach and I was like no this is not a good design they should have curved the tape rather than made it square the pointy edges are just a lot and uh, yeah that's the only thing the rest of it was okay I think she grew out of the newborn size as well so we had to change the diaper because it was getting too tight but this was the one I was using there's no con as such apart from the fact that it's very sharp and plasticky and I just don't like how diapers am I made even today so then I have the alter baby diapers this brand sent me a PR long time and I just found it in my studio and I was like let me try this so um, we loved it initially these are the ones right here it's really thin and it's got like bamboo something inside and all fancy stuff nowadays diapers have mosquito repellent something in their diaper and like aloe vera baby forest jungle diaper and I'm just like what are all these we just want a diaper that's absorbent that's all mamas don't need any complicated shit of mosquito repellent diaper I'm just like dude this is a bit much yeah so about the alter baby diaper I love the fact that it was super thin I love that it was comfortable and this this tape look at how nice and soft this tape is right it's so bendy it's curved it's not sharp like the Pampers brand. So this is what my mom loved. It's super soft. It didn't stab Abby at all. Yeah, it has a an indicator line, a Susu indicator line. I need that line. I forget to change Abby's diaper a lot. Uh, but yeah, I need the indicator. The minute I see the blue indicator, I know I have to change her diaper. So super helpful for mom. Overall amazing. Cons are I don't like the print of this diaper. I'm a very neutral white color pamper kind of girl. I really need like softer colors on baby. Because I realized when I was putting this on her I was dressing her up in really pretty white dresses and then this pamper would come in the middle and I'm like that's not a vibe it's just ruining my aesthetic that's just a personal preference so yeah that's something I don't like about this brand they didn't have an option of a softer color or something secondly we noticed there was like I could sense wetness outside her diaper and I was like nah this is not a vibe so initially it did well but then it just did not work for us so we stopped using this as well then I got so frustrated, I'm like, okay, what is the right diaper? I went and Amazoned it, dude, I went mad. I went crazy. I'm like, I can find a lipstick, but diapers? I'm like, this is just crazy. All different types, and I was like, you know what, let me just try Huggies. So I got this one. This is the one I have right now. This is the Huggies Complete Comfort Wonder Pants. Um, we again switched to the pants style diaper because my mom is like, you know what, the tape thing is not working out. Let's just stick to the pants. And I think there's a reason why this pant style is so famous in the market right now every second diaper is a pant style diaper you cannot find taped uh, diapers unless you type it out so there must be something to it so I was like you know what let's go back to the pant one so this is the one this is the size small 4 to 8 kgs and 86 diapers in this this we loved we really really loved finally I like this diaper a lot um, it's really comfortable on Abby it's cottony it's soft we initially didn't like the Pampers pant style because this elastic that you can see, this would leave like red marks on Abby's tummy, you know, because it's just hugging her, right? So we didn't like that, but we just realized, you know what, all diapers are doing it. It's, it's not hurting them, but it's just a mark you get. But this is so soft, like it is so soft, like it does not, it's so cottony and plush. So I really like this one. Yes, it does have some print, but this is such a light, beautiful pastel 
print but look at the like look at this right less pattern too heavy a pattern so i'm talking patterns of diapers here who am i and this is amazing it's super thin as well and it just it's amazing we put it up and then we fold it and when we fold it they have this frill right here which is so soft it's so nice and soft and it's just it lays beautifully on abby's tummy so this wins in my opinion the only thing is i there's no wetness indicator here i don't know why they didn't put a wetness indicator or is there and i'm not able to find it let me know because yahan pe to mujhe kuch nahi dikh raha but i can let that go because this is so comfortable for abby and she likes it as well uh she's not cribbing crying there's no wetness it's beautiful absorption love this one mama so in case you guys want to check it out When it comes to Abby swaddle cloths and outfits in general I only shop from H&M and Zara I do not look anywhere else because I have looked and I don't really enjoy the prints and the colors uh, for all of you first time moms wondering like why does she care about the diapers prints I'm a neutral kind of woman I love my clothes to be very soft and beige and um solid colors like black like solid colors I don't like a lot of print um and stuff like that so h&m and zara give me my aesthetic in when it comes to outfits so that's where i go it's a no brainer for me i get a pack of 5 pack of 6 it ships directly the next day i shop from the zara and h&m app individually so just a couple of outfits i wanted to show you like this is from h&m as well it has to be ironed but this is from h how cute look at the sage green color it's so pretty um this is from 2 to 4 she was 2 to 4 months now and it's so freaking cute So you get like a pack that comes together. This also, this is a ladybug print. It's so freaking adorable. Look at this, you guys. I love this kind of outfit on Abby because it's so hot in Mumbai. So I don't like a full pant and stuff. In case she's not well, we just put up a pajama pant. But otherwise, I like her legs to be a little open, and I like a sleeve on her. And this is enough like coverage for the house. This is what we make her wear usually. There are a bunch. See, so cute. Look at this print, you guys. Oh my god, look how cute. I thought I was having a son you guys like right up until Abby came out of my vagina I thought I was having a son and that's why I called for a lot of you know boy kind of clothes but still gender neutral still gender neutral no pinks and stuff but a lot of grays and a lot of animal print and this looks this will look so good on a baby boy but it looks so cute on Abby like I just love it I utilized all of my sons uh, <laughs> clothes but even these these are so cute so that those are her daytime clothes and then we have some nighttime outfits we have some pajamas which i absolutely love again most of them are from h&m i prefer zara for a fancy occasion i prefer h&m for like pajamas and stuff and much less expensive zara is so expensive this is one pajama set that is so cute I'm obsessed with forest forest print I guess. So again this is like a button down pajama set um sleeves and just your leg goes through it it's not like a full booty thing. So we make her wear pajamas like this. I got a Disney one uh this looks so cute on her guys. <gasps> oh my god look at this. There's a little bugs bunny there. And yeah you get different prints. Check it out, check it out. I have a lot of beige ones, panda prints, I have a lot of floral prints. Look at this is so cute. This comes with the booty, see? So you don't have to put socks. Look, M is what I dress her in. She's crying. Gosh, I got to go. Coming! Coming! One eternity later. Hello. Sorry guys, I freaked the f out because my mom's getting a pedicure like both of us needed a pedicure. So I booked one and I was concerned that baby was crying. Let's get back. <laughs> Okay, I have a bunch of swaddles here again. So a lot of brands send me PR, and some I ordered from Amazon. Amazon has been my go-to place for everything, baby. So I have a bunch of swaddles here, pink color. This is so printed. Again, this was gifted, but initially I got all of this from Amazon. I'll try and find and link them below for my past orders. But these are they're super super soft and just lovely to the touch. They're so soft. It's so nice. I'm just like, why didn't I ever use a muslin or a swaddle? but these are a bunch of swaddles that i got again from amazon there's like no branding on this guys i have no idea but so these are like big swaddles um abby loves to be swaddled because she has reflex like startled reflexes her hands just go like that and uh, she wakes herself up and starts crying so we started swaddling her very lightly though we don't do it like the tight swaddle where she's like just suffocating we just do a light swaddle and she loves that and she goes to bed immediately so these are those long swaddles 
and then we have tiny swaddles where we put them in the bath so we have a bathtub for her so she we put a cloth underneath and then on top of her as well so that coziness comes in we have look at the colors neutral white this is from zara and they're an extra small small it's kind of small just for like things around you never know you just want like a tiny swaddle best to travel with in case you know you want to like make it into a bib or whatever swaddles and cloths are always like necessary you can make this as a burp cloth in case you don't want to buy an extra burp cloth so these are great from zara i called for a bunch of them so there's powder pink tan again another powder pink tan they're like both a set we have a nice olive color and then we have this soft print color so yeah i love those and then obviously these swaddles are like my favorite these are even smaller squares okay this one i use for just um general just to wipe her spit up or wipe her tear wipe the milk when she's having these are even tiny ones so we have the biggest one medium one and a small one i love these ones they're so freaking cute and again they're from amazon then we have book cloths we have like this one right here from amazon this is the towel side this is the print side we have a bunch of them again this is from amazon i have again this brand called abracadabra i really like them actually we've got this swaddle right here how cute oh my god the minute she's like Wah! and then i put this on her she's like <laughs> it's so funny babies are so funny i love this one it's like linen bibs you know it's not like i'll show you a very ugly bib i got on amazon oh my god i'm sorry dude it's just preference i don't like a lot of color but urgency mein maine mangaya kyunki mere paas nahi tha so i called for this and i got like bright pink and yellow and i'm like nope thank you then the abracadabra brand had such beautiful aesthetically pleasing bibs are you kidding me look at this oh my god so pretty come in a set of 3 there are organizers i got from amazon again organizers in different colors beige gray i put her socks and her mittens in this as well abby has long fingers like all new one babies we try and file it as much as we can but she literally got herself to bleed the other day she scratched her nose and started bleeding her eyes are always scratched and she's swollen so i was like just put on a mitten so we let we let some mitten free time as well but we also put the mitten on a lot cuz she scratches her self I'm sorry but really bad print like oh my god look at this I could not find mittens that were neutral color dude on Amazon I just cannot find mittens that are aesthetically pleasing I'll make her wear a cute white dress and then I have to make her wear this no but I got it emergency me again I was just like chalo le lete hain this is more like softer look at this beautiful soft blue mitten um, it is i think from dubai and these are again veronica's boyfriend gifted it to me how freaking cute look at this oh my god so pretty look at this so freaking pretty soft print leaves polka dots is where i'm at with my mittens stuff like this what the heck <laughs> i'm sorry then we have socks socks okay we have again from zara most of them are very bulky and like woolen like wool it's like stretchy but like so big for a newborn everything h and m zara i have this beautiful beautiful socks i purchased from zara look at how pretty it got like a frill and like so cute so when i make a wear her dresses i put up the sock it's super cute so i also purchased these i really like these vests you know look at how cute they are this is so cute it's just like ganji situation but like full sleeve you can make them wear that in the night or at home and easy to remove for diaper you can just button this out and then you have access to the diaper so then this keeps her arms warm and then at the bottom it's quite open so you're balanced out with the temperature as well when it comes to abby's baby products we have stuck to just like these products so far a lot of brands have sent us pr I did not like many of them but you guys let me know what brands you all are gravitating towards I really like Aveeno as a brand so I'm using Aveeno uh, baby daily moisture lotion in natural oatmeal this is something uh, I bought like right when I was pregnant but still using it so I love this one then we have the Mimi uh, soothing diaper rash cream I love the brand Mimi I've got a bunch of stuff which I love from them so this is the diaper rash cream mostly does need it she's not had a rash till date but we keep putting it anyway just like on the occasion just to moisturize down there for her massage oil we have the baby sebum and massage oil this is the one i really love the smell the fragrance is so mild and so baby like and i absolutely love this on her my chain went inside oh, what a waste what a waste so yeah this is a massage oil with delicate skin for delicate skin with natural oils i like this one so far i called for another one okay and then we have her hair brush 
soft hairbrush <laughs> again from Beba. These are all like gifted, were gifted to me from my baby shower. And we have her usual medicines right here. We've got gripe water, colicaid, desol, D3, right? And neosporin powder. We've got all of it, guys. It's like the typical usual stuff. And then we have some branded stuff. People have just gifted me things. So this is baby forest. Uh, you know the baby forest nipple bottle that i showed you guys is from the same brand we have um, baby loy uptan it's like something my mom wants to use it on her this is baby shampoo it's a nice brand i guess i don't know i've not used it as such i love the beige packaging badami snake cold press almond oil coconut oil so i have a bunch of this which my mom will in time use it we're not using it right now right now it's only a vino for everything at the moment and yeah mimi and sabah med here and there but like this is it y'all for wipes i have mother sparsh pure water extra gentle extra thick wipes i love it we stick to it i don't intend on changing it anytime soon so these are the wipes that are amazing these are some of the things i wanted to show you like look at her pajamas how freaking cute this is from zara these are the zip up pajamas it's very soft she's yet to wear them these hangers you guys they're amazing they're velvet hangers they're so soft um you can say velvet or suede and they really hold on to the clothes it doesn't slip off so these are tiny baby hangers i got from amazon look at this beige amazing like pajama pants it's so good it's got this knitted material which is so nice obviously like in the night if you feel like your baby is a little chill you can just put this on and they'll just be so comfy these two are from zara then we have h&m nice floral pajama again another h&m one there are some like frilled dresses that h&m also makes which are really cute one of them is this i made her wear this on her second month birthday it looks so cute on her like it's so adorable i love like slight frills and then we have this from zara which i'm yet to make her wear but i love this kind of stuff i hope you guys can see and it's a small little frill it comes with a chaddi so cute so cute this is from zara and it's for 2190 rupees this tiny little thing and then i just called for some underpants like this some briefs just in case i make her wear the dresses like i have like this one i just want to put an underwear on top of a pamper this is one of those again this is from uh, zara as well this is a six to nine months i purposely call for a loose one because i know how tight these things are and i just want her to be free so i think six to nine makes sense i got a bunch of pajamas for abby because i realized you know um sometimes i just want to put on a pajama and not the whole a pajama suit so for that zara had some really cute like tights knitted tights and they're on sale dude i don't know when you're gonna watch this video but it's so stretchy and look at this how adorable got like the shoe the booty thing so you don't have to make them wear a sock so in case you're heading out to the airport this is a fantastic just wear like a nice top and put the pants up it keeps them warm it's not too sweaty and cloggy it has like it's a very open knitted material it's very breathable so i have the pink one and then i have the gray and beige similar tights whatever goes with her outfit that's what we make her wear and then we have again brief chaddis which looks so cute look at this oh my god this is the cutest how pretty is this i love clearly love knit material i, I think you should move out of the country because the stuff that i like is all wintry look at me sitting in a hoodie mera bas chale to main hoodie aur track pants mein jiyu like i just want to wear fluffy oversized clothes and i just can't i start sweating balls over here because mumbai is hot yaar yeah. Okay, I absolutely love these bows, you guys. I got this sent to me, and this is a brand called Rattle and Co on Instagram. I had to give them a shout out because these are the cutest, softest bows I've come across, and it's stretchy. It's so soft on baby's head. You can like, if you want to take those pictures for newborns, don't be worried about it. Just like, oh, look at this! How cute! This is like the best material. So these are the colors I have. We've got a blue, orange, purple printed, and we have a pink one right here. I used to make Abby wear caps when she was in the hospital because it was like really cold, and I wanted to cover her ears. And I love babies in beanies. See, I clearly should be in a place where there's winter happening, but uh, yeah, I love this little beige. beanie these all are from H&M and Zara this one is from this is from Zara and then we have this again from Zara it's so cute it's a little pink color like you know you just cover their head and you tie this in the bottom it's so cute like that it's like so cute then we have this again look at me as if wo bombay mein ye pehnegi dude never 
I just got this for pictures to be honest with you. Look how cute. Like, all of this was for my son. Okay, I shopped all of this imagining I have, I'm gonna have a son. And then of course, ye dekho yaar. <laughs> sweater. <laughs> Such a thick sweater. A coordinate like a pajama with it. But anyway. Then you guys, then I got the cutest little PR from Tulo Baby India. The cutest turbans, okay? This is the turban, you guys. Oh my god. And Abby looks like a little munchkin in these turbans. They're so cute. Ah, these are so adorable for gifting. Since it's the flu season, you guys, all the babies are falling ill. And it's been so difficult to watch Abby get fever, like her first fever with me. And it was terrifying. I was up all night watching her go to sleep. And it was just very like it was horrible it was horrible to see a child in pain and she's just recovering she's got a cough now and oh it's a lot our pediatrician told us to buy this machine it's a nebulizer we really thought like a pediatrician is trying to just like sell us one you know how we always think like our doctors are trying to sell us one no dude it's so good so much mucus stuck over here and we just could not get it out i have a mucus puller i have all of that and i was trying to get all of the mucus out but at one point it was just congested you could not do anything and she was just trying to breathe i put this nebulizer on i put a little like 2 ml drip it comes with the saline solution you can ask your pediatrician and it comes with this little mask and we just place it on top and we let the it's easy access to the lungs basically and it just works wonders it's for 1600 rupees you'll get it at your pharmacy just ask them for a nebulizer and keep it in your house if you have a small kid or a newborn or a toddler it really helps just put this on just ask your pediatrician what you need to put inside because there are different solutions i guess you could put so ask your pediatrician and what quantity you're supposed to put i put 2 ml for abby and it's a good five seven minutes and she just sits like that because she knows she can breathe when the nebulizer is on once we get that off guys she sleeps so soundly at least for the next hour or two she is not like suffering to breathe right and wow dude what a device like i am truly blown away by the nebulizer and since newborn babies and babies in general fall ill very soon get the nebulizer it is worth the investment and it's amazing it's just 1600 bucks which is so so cool uh so that's just something i wanted to throw in there this is the nose frida mucus puller i guess and this is on one side and you pull the mucus out and i was so gross start by this but it comes with a filter <laughs> don't worry it comes with a filter and an added filter you keep changing the filter and it you never eat the snot <laughs> yeah <laughs> the snot never gets to your mouth guys it stops here okay so it's just the air that comes out so you put this in the nostril just at the tip of the nostril don't like put it up and just <laughs> take one like small little don't like suck it out small little air and all the mucus and gunk gets stored in here and then you filter it out with water just like flush it out with water again and repeat the process this has been like a game changer for me when it came to abby's flu i was like this device i'm in love with this simple device that saved abby from from not breathing and then we have this one this is the brawn nose something but i did not like this this is the brawn nasal aspirator so again you just place it here and gives like a suction motion where you can get the mucus out see honestly not that effective as your breath like i prefer the manual one any day over this so i don't think you should invest in like a device that costs a lot of money but doesn't do the job um the nose feeder is like 20 dollars or something it's so cheap all right guys that's all i have for you in today's vlog style video i hope you enjoyed and learned something new i'm also learning along the way i'm a first time mom and i'm figuring it all out i'm googling stuff so it's gonna take a while until we get to the point where we are like super confident in taking care of our baby so yeah whatever suits your baby go for that it's not necessarily that whatever suits abby suits you guys and vice versa so i hope i helped anyway i love you guys and i will catch you in my next video bye